Now this is an episode of Tech Tips that I've wanted to do for a long time. I'm finally getting around to it. This is SSD versus hard drive. So without going any further, I'm going to go ahead and start my first test, which is restarting these two identical computers at exactly the same time. The one on my right features a Western Digital uh, WD Black one terabyte hard drive with an identical configuration. These are the same computers I used in our Killer Nick episode. And then the one on my left features the latest SSD from OCZ. This is the Vertex LE or limited edition. It features a Sandforce controller, but overall the main comparison I'm making here is how much faster do the lightning fast access times and fast read speeds, and in this case very fast write speeds of an SSD, make your overall computing experience. So here we are, the SSD is already at boom. MSN Messenger is loaded and we are still waiting for the hard drive to even boot into the operating system. Still waiting. This is just one of a whole bunch of practical tests that we're going to run. And MSN Messenger now. There we go. More to come. So I've got a big list of stuff that I want to run today. So the first one is going to be launching Left 4 Dead 2. I have shortcuts on my desktop. Okay, pressing enter at exactly the same time. I just want to demonstrate how much faster you can get into a game when you are running an SSD drive. So eh, Steam's loading up at about the same time. Now something that I'm going to do to cheat a little bit here is I'm going to wait for it to catch up during the loading screens. But you can see that we would still be ahead with the SSD. I'm pressing escape at the same time, pressing it at the same time. Once again, you're going to find that the SSD is going to be ready to join a game just a little bit faster. Now, without showing you any further than that, I wouldn't be really doing my job here. So let's go and play single player, okay, because it'll be pretty rude of me to join a multiplayer uh, campaign and then you know, just quit like that. So I just want to show you another little thing that I've observed about running an SSD. I'm going to Alt-Tab out of the game. Boom, you're at your desktop. I pressed Alt-Tab at exactly the same time on that hard drive machine, and I am still waiting for it to go to the desktop. Same thing when you want to go back in a game. Oh, okay, or if you want to see a Supreme Commander 2 ad. When you want to go back to the game, the SSD is faster, just like that. So now let's hit both systems a little bit harder. Let's say you're searching for all of a particular file. Like let's say you're looking for every JPEG on your computer or every TXT file on your computer. So you can enter a search that is asterisk dot extension and let's say let's choose the extension INI because there will be tons of those on any Windows machine. So you can see that the SSD is populating my list way faster. You can tell by how much smaller the scroll wheel is versus on the hard drive. Oh, that's a really difficult demo to show though. And you can also tell that the search is completely done. There we go. And the hard drive is still working at it. This is the green progress bar that is showing how far the hard drive is. Yeah, we've got 451 items. We're still at 411, 412, 451. The hard drive is finally done. So that is how much longer it took for the hard drive to populate with 451 items here. And then let's not forget that one of the most stressful things you can do with your computer is dare to use it while you're running an antivirus scan. So let's open up the computer scanner in AVG and let's scan whole computer now. Now when you're scanning your computer obviously anything that you try to do is going to be hampered by the fact that you're doing that. So why don't we go ahead and just do a simple thing like open up Microsoft Word. Bam! SSD is done. The hard drive is still waiting for the read head to recover from where it's scanning for viruses and then open up the file that contains Microsoft Word. So in conclusion, I thought I'd open up our test machine here and let you know that there is no smoke and mirrors going on behind the scenes. Every test you saw was run on two identical machines, one with the Vertex LE, one with the Western Digital 1TB Black, which is one of the most respected, fastest magnetic hard drives on the market today. But after the demo you saw today, why isn't everyone using an SSD? The answer to that is because right now they have significantly lower capacities and much higher prices. The SSD we're using today costs over $900 and it is a 
200 gigabyte model. The hard drive we're using costs about $100 and it is a 1000 gigabyte model. To a lot of people it's a no-brainer. But if you're a speed freak and you want the fastest possible performance out of your computer, you're going to want an SSD. You also get a couple other benefits in the mix there. You get better reliability because there are zero moving parts. It's based on completely different technologies. Flash memory versus spinning platters and moving read heads, sprite heads, that kind of thing. You also get lower power consumption and you also get a lighter I mean, they actually have this on the box. It is lighter than a hard drive, so your PC won't be as heavy. There you go. Anyway, thank you for checking out our NCIX Tech Tips on SSD versus hard drive. Don't forget, you can also check out my blog videos that I did as a bit of a precursor to this video. I was not using a premium, premium SSD in those videos, so you can see that even with a lower end SSD, I was using a Vertex 60 gig, the original one, you still get a huge performance difference between an SSD and a hard drive. Thanks for checking it out.